Hi, today I'll show you the POS features on our LTS Platinum MVR. I'll be using PC America POS software for demonstration. Let's go through some of the POS settings here. First, you go to Menu, Configuration, and then POS. This is the POS settings page. First, you have POS. You can select other POS here. Enable. Check this box to enable the POS function. POS name. You can rename the POS here. Connection. You have TCP receive and RS-232 here. Please note, RS-232 is only available on certain model. After you select the connection, you can click on set for more settings. POS protocol. Under TCP, you only have generic. RS-232, you have generic and AVE. You can also click on set for more options. Handle. Triggering channel. You can select which camera you want to trigger by this POS here. Handling. Check the box to, to enable each feature. PTC linking. You can use this option to trigger the PTC camera to the preset number, call patrol, or call pattern. After you finish with the configuration, hit apply, and then go to record schedule. First, you go to menu, record, and then schedule. Check this box to enable the schedule. Click on edit on the right. Now we are changing the schedule on Monday. You can either choose all day, or you can change the start time and end time. Change it to POS under type, and hit apply. After you finish this Monday, you can copy it to other day as well. After you finish with the date, and then you click OK. You can use the copy button on the bottom to copy to other camera as well. After you complete the configuration for the schedule, hit apply on the bottom. Now, I'll show you how to integrate the DVR to the POS software. First, locate the DVR setting page by going to the setup menu. Input the correct DVR IP address and the port number. 10,000 is a default port number for our Platinum and NVR. After you finish with the setting, click on update. Now I'll show you how it looks like when the POS system is integrated. First, select the camera you want to see. One left click on the mouse to bring up the test bar on the bottom. Select text show. Now, I will start a transaction on the POS software. If you see on the screen, you can see the uh, cameras start picking up the transaction. I'll add a couple more items. Some chicken fingers and buffalo wings. Now the transaction is complete, and you can see all the details on the camera page. And this is how the POS software will look like after the integration is complete. Now, I'll show you the playback and export function for the POS. First, you go to menu, playback, and then POS. Select the camera on the right, and then the start time and end time on the bottom. And then click on search. After you click on search, the available video will come up on the right. 
you can click on the play button to start playing the video. Once the video starts playing, we'll click the show text button on the left lower corner. Once you click on the show text button, it will start showing the transaction on the camera right now. You can also use the approximate and exact match search function here. For example, if I want to search wings, I'll just put wings here. And then click on search. Now on the right is showing all the video that's contain wings. Now it's seeing the transaction on the screen. There is the wings. Now, export. First, you go to menu, export, and then POS. On the top, you see start time and end time. Enter the correct date that you want and the time that you want over here. You can either check this box for case sensitivity. And you can also use the POS keyword here. Now select the camera you want to back up. And then click on search. Select the file you want to export and then click on quick export to export. You can also click on details to check the preview or the total size before you back up. After you click on quick export, select the device you want to export it to and then export. You can also format your USB flash drive here by using the format button. You can also create a new folder. You see the folder is created now. Now click on export. Select video and log to export the video and the log and then click OK. You see export is finished and then click OK. Now you see the video and the log files on your flash drive. This is how you use the playback and export function on LTS Platinum MVR. Thank you for watching.